are two ways that I like to clean my makeup brushes. The first one being the onset cleaning or spot cleaning. Today I'm using the e.l.f. daily brush cleaner which you can find at any drugstore I believe. And I'm just spraying it on a towel and putting this brush into circular motions to really get the blush and the product off of this brush. It's a really great way to do this in between applications and if you're a makeup artist this is really great in between colors and stuff like that. It's not a deep clean but it is a spot treatment. The next way I like to clean my brushes is by deep cleaning them, which is using some type of soap and water. So here I am in my sink, and you always want to make sure that you're holding your brushes downward. You never want the bristles to be pointing up or the water to be going in the barrel. So it's always great to hold the brush downward when you're doing this. So I like to wet the bristles and take my Dove soap. Using a bar of soap is really easy and convenient when washing your brushes because all you have to do is hold it rub in circular motions and then your soap is all lathered on there. Now I do this step on every single brush and then I will let them sit on the side of the sink to kind of get all of that good stuff in there and really clean it out and then after all of this process is done I will go ahead and rinse them. Again with rinsing you want to make sure that you're holding the bristles downward and never up to get any of the water to drip into the barrel because you don't want to loosen anything. Cleaning your makeup brushes should be the number one step in your makeup routine because it's super important to do. It really traps all of the gunk, bacteria, and germs into the bristles and those bristles are going on your face and that's what's causing acne. So in order to stop acne and make your face all clean, you need to have clean makeup brushes. So after every application, you should definitely do like some type of spot cleaning and then obviously after a little bit, you have to wash them with soap and stuff like that. So it's just like the hair on your head. You want to make sure it's all clean and sanitized. So for the foundation brushes and like denser brushes, I like to use coconut oil and this bar of soap to cleanse it better. It just really gets everything out and all the buildup that's been in there just comes right out super easy and makes them squeaky clean. As for cleaning my beauty sponge, it's pretty much the same exact thing. I'm taking my Dove Bar Soap and the beauty sponge and putting it on there, kind of scrubbing it in in circular motions and just really getting the soap in there. And then I am squeezing it out into the sink. You can see all of the nasty makeup and foundation going down the drain, which is perfect because I feel like I'm sanitizing and making it all clean. So I love that feeling. So I'm just going to keep on doing this until it gets back to its original state. And also you'll notice there's some like staining on there, but it's pretty much clean for the most part. Once all my brushes are washed, I'm going to be rinsing them obviously off. So I will take the brush and point it downwards like here. And then I will do some circular motions in my palm of my hand to really make sure that all of the product is loosened up and all of the soap is out and the water runs clear. Then I just give it a couple squeezes and make sure that it's all drained. And then I will put the brush back on the side of the sink facing downwards and then it is all ready to be dried. I do these on all of my brushes obviously, so once it's all done you'll see me drying them. So I'm just gonna whip through this really quick, but I'm basically just taking off all the soap on the brushes.
Now once we're all done over at the sink, I like to dry them. So I just take a towel and I just go in circular motions very quickly and just kind of sweep it off and get all of the water off. I do like to let them air dry so they will lay down on a towel for about a few hours, maybe even overnight depending on what time of the day I did this. And I just let them sit and chill and make sure to always point them down so no water gets into the barrel and loosens up any glue. And I just gently rub So here are the brushes a few hours later all dried and all clean and ready for the next application. This is my freelance little belt where I keep my freelance makeup brushes that I just had washed as well as my own I have in jars that I will show you but this is it. I know there are tons of videos out there on how to clean makeup brushes but this is the steps that I like to do and what I've been doing to keep my brushes all clean and remember make sure that they're all sanitized and clean because these are going on your face and they are the number one product and number one essential in the makeup world. So just make sure that you're keeping your brushes clean and I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to give me a big thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel if you have not and I will see you in my next video. Bye!